Welcome to The Source, where we combine the headlines with in-depth conversations with the newsmakers themselves. Today on the program. The fight against terrorism continues. We cannot discount the possibility of a planned another attack. That This is what we are trying to preempt. Amid reports of extremist recruitment in the South. The remaining uh, jihadists of ISIS Philippines are still propagating the virulent ideology of ISIS. And the president's order to declare communist groups as terrorists. Anyone caught financing the MPA now could be held liable under the special law. And a possibility of a Duterte cabinet revamp. Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana joins us live. And later, meet the world's oldest Barbie doll inspiration. That's for today's In Focus. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pinky Webb. The military is boosting its surveillance capability with six new unmanned aerial vehicles, courtesy of the U.S. government. National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperan earlier said they will use the drones to patrol the resource-rich Philippine rise amid China's militarization in the West Philippine Sea. The military says the aerial vehicles will be used mainly to counter terrorists and other lawless elements in Mindanao. Just how serious is the threat of terrorism in the country months after the devastating attack in Marawi City. Let's go straight to the source of the story, Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana. Secretary, kamusta na po kayo? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for um, giving us your time, sir. Thank I know you you've been so busy. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. It's been more than a year, sir. Yeah. So going back to your question, uh, how, how real is the threat? Yes. It's what is the as overall? Real as, as ever, even if we were able to uh, succeed in liberating Marawi, some of those uh, Maoti and ISIS people were able to escape. And uh, the latest intelligence that we get is that they are recruiting, albeit not as successful as before, because of the aggressive uh, uh, operations of our military and the police. But they're still there, uh, small groups scattered all over Mindanao, and our intelligence are sort of tracking them down. Mm -hmm. So we are preparing for another, uh, maybe if they could mount a similar attack like Marawi. And uh, we are looking at maybe Cotabato, Sambuanga, or even Davao, according to the president, will be uh, vulnerable. So, nandiyan ngayon yung ating concentration sa lugar ngayon. I guess, sir, that justifies uh, martial law still in Mindanao? Yeah, actually, martial law is uh, doing great things in Mindanao. Uh -huh. yeah. And you would still recommend um, that it stays because it, it will stay for well until the end of the until year. Until the year. Yeah. Hopefully after, after the year ends we can uh, say that tapos na. Uh, that's over so, the, so that uh, people can get to uh, can go back to normal lives. So. Yeah, but how is Marshall law helping in the government in trying to stop these mounted groups from um, recruiting and coming together and consolidating, sir? Yeah, for one thing we have been uh, getting surrenderies. Uh, for the past month, uh, we collected several hundreds of firearms from Manao, Hulu, Basilan. Uh, the, the mayors themselves, or the, 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 the warlords in the area, are surrendering their firearms to us uh, peacefully because we tell them if you will not surrender to us, we're going to get them any way we can. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's through illegal means, sir. Illegal means meant get, getting from <laughs> getting them? The, oh, yeah, uh, because uh, under martial law, then uh, yeah. We, yeah, they cannot carry the firearms anyway. Mm -hmm. So there is this feedback that I get from the, uh, from the citizens of Marawi and said, uh, we are happy, sir. Masaya kami dahil dati-dati kami ang takot. Yung mga armado ang gala ng gala. Uh -huh. Ngayon, sila ang takot. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the benefits of martial law in Mindanao. But, but sir, you, you, earlier during when we started this conversation, this interview, you said that the threat is real. Yeah. Okay. Is ISIS, sir, once and for all, is ISIS in the Philippines or is it ISIS inspired in the Philippines? Is ISIS here or is it just ISIS inspired, sir? There is uh, ISIS inspired. ISIS inspired, sila. So they are actually buying, there are several groups buying for recognition by ISIS Middle East because they would like to go to, uh, to establish a province here in, in, in the Philippines, southern mm -hmm. Philippines, called the Vilayat. They call it the uh, Vilayat. So one of them is Abudar, uh, yeah. 
one of those leaders. Is, isn't he the alleged leader of ISIS in Southeast Asia, sir? Si Pardon? Abu Dar? No, he's only, uh, he's, he's only a leader of a small group here in Mindanao. I see. No, not, not in Southeast Asia. Okay, because um, there, was, there were reports that he's said to be the alleged leader of ISIS in Southeast Asia. So that's not true. He's that's just true. a leader of a small group. Yes. Is he in Lano del Sur, sir? Yeah. Alan Adel Sur or somewhere there in, uh, in ARMM, in Maguindanao and Alan Adel Sur. We don't know the exact location, but uh, we believe that he operates within the boundary of uh, Maguindanao, Alan Adel Sur, and Alan Adel Norte. But he's not Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If we know where he is, then we will uh, try to get him. And yeah. um, right now, you are having a difficult time still really uh, yeah, because, uh, pinpointing Yeah, because there are still a lot of people who are afraid to uh, disclose where they are. Alam mo naman, they are still powerful, they have firearms, they have money, uh, at least small money, mm -mm. because we believe they will not be able to extricate a lot of the money inside Marawi. Yung nilot nila. Yeah. The money that they looted from the banks and from the houses. Mm. So, yeah. so, sir, ISIS is not in the country? No. Oh. They are just inspiring these people because uh, there are no more um, Middle Eastern uh, fighters here. Only some say that there are, uh, last, I think last week we, we apprehended one uh, Indonesian and we are still interrogating him if uh, he has any companions that came into the country from the back door. Right. Uh, yeah. Sir, tuloy tuloy huba yung pag arresto sa um, yes. you know, terrorists. Yeah. Yeah. And we are, we are having, we are getting help from our neighbors, Malaysia yeah. and Indonesia, because they are also uh, policing their area, the, the boundaries. Mm -hmm. And in fact, uh, Malaysia has uh, apprehended recently about five Filipinos. So, who now we know are members of uh, Abu Sayyaf. Mm. Mm. Na, nagpunta po doon. Nagpunta doon no? I see. So, how is the, of course, cooperation is good and well, sir. Oh, yes, but yes. How has it increased in the past year or so, sir? Increased the what? Yung, yung security, security and cooperation between yeah, uh, Malaysia you, security and uh, remember uh, when, I, when I first came in as the Secretary of Defense, uh, Secretary Gasmin has actually started to talk to the two uh, ministers of defense of Indonesia and Malaysia. And they were talking about the trilateral sea patrol and right. trilateral uh, air patrol. So when I came in, we uh, finalized the, the agreement, mm -mm. and now the patrols are ongoing. So if you notice, for the past uh, one year, there has not been any kidnapping in the sea of Solo. Mm -hmm. so, so effective yung ano natin. Very good. Yeah. At least the trilateral yes, yes. Um, mm. between the Philippines, yes. Indonesia, mm. and Malaysia. Sir, a security expert, Romel Banlawi, was, uh, is saying that there are 23 groups now consolidating in the Philippines to form an ISIS Philippines. Is this true, sir? Maybe they are, uh, but uh, these groups, well, are really disparate groups. Eh? Some are Maranao, some are Maguindanao, some are living in... Uh, I don't know if uh, they can actually merge together as one mm -hmm. and one leader. Mahira po ba yun? Uh, we do not see any <laughs> any prospect of that because uh, the Tausogs uh, do not trust the Maguindanaos, the Maguindanaos also vice versa, and the Maranaos. No? So hopefully that uh, state of uh, situation remains so that we will not. Uh, they will not uh, join together. It's good that they don't trust each other, so they don't consolidate, sir. That's true, yeah. Sir, when there are 23 groups, is that a lot? Marami ho ba yon in a No, because uh, some groups are only less than 20, uh -huh. some are uh, 50, some are... Uh, the biggest uh, group there is the BIFF. Right. Uh, uh, several thousand. I think it's several thousand of them. Yeah. And they are in Central Mindanao. And, uh, as we speak now, uh, operations against them are ongoing mm -mm. by our military and police. Yeah, when you look at these 23 groups, sir, um, let's flash them again on screen. Yung, what are, what's familiar, sir, is the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters, That's the BIFF. Yeah. Um, anyone, anyone, any group there, sir, that looks familiar to you as well? Uh, AKP, uh, the Polit Battalion, but I don't think uh, they have... Uh, more, mm. uh, more than 100 uh, fighters there. Okay. Bangsamoro Justice Movement, uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, they are very small. Okay. It's actually civilians. Kilapa, KM, KIM, also very small. 
the biggest uh, is, uh, I go back is the BIPF. And of course, uh, sir, Abu yeah. Sayyaf. Abu Sayyaf group, yes, the, mm -hmm. uh, especially the Hapilon faction. Right. Because the Isnilon faction of uh, Basilan has already been decimated. Right. Sir, there were two um, ISIS personalities arrested, this Tunisian, Femi Lasud, and a Maltesab leader, Nasser Lamondot. Uh, did you mention that earlier, sir? Uh, Lamondot, I'm Lamondot, but I... But the Tunisian? The Tunis the yeah, there are Tunisian. Uh, ISIS, ISIS personalities arrested. Anyway, um, we, we can talk about, about that uh -huh. uh, later on. Um, just moving on to the threat of terrorism, sir. There was a leaked um, memorandum from the PNP, sir, that stated there are various targets in Metro Manila. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I think it was... It was authentic, but it was not valid. I saw. I saw that. Uh, Can you tell us more about me. that? So I, um, I informed uh, Secretary Anyo about this and said uh, this was actually a communication between uh, Region Ten. Uh, yeah, between units mm -hmm. saying, but and then that was leaked to the, to the media. I do not think, uh, although the communication is is authentic, I think the uh, the purpose of that that there are. ISIS in Metro Manila is uh, inaccurate. What do you mean, sir? Uh, Can you I don't expound? Think, yeah, I don't think uh, they, are, they are already here in Manila. Although we believe that some of the Maotis who escaped from Marawi may have come back to Manila and hide. Mm -mm. Uh, I don't think they are here to uh, commit uh, trouble or great trouble. So, nagtatago lang po sila dito. But uh, in that memorandum, it said that there are targets such as Metro Manila. Zamboanga. Well, you mentioned, of course, Davao already in Zamboanga, yeah, even Iloilo yeah. Cebu uh, CDO, sir. So, um, are these targets real or are they not real? In Metro Manila, uh, you know, they, they can come here actually because uh, if they are Filipinos traveling from one place to another, nobody can prevent them from traveling. Right? <coughs> but the support that they get here, especially the uh, Muslim communities in Taguig and in Quiapo, I don't think those Muslims would like uh, something to happen in their area. Yeah. No. Sir, but when you said that there are remnants of Maute mm -hmm. that are in Metro Manila, bakit hindi pa rin natin, hindi nyo pa sila, or the military and the police can't find them? How difficult is it, sir? It's difficult to find a person here in Metro Manila with uh, close to about 12 million people. Mm -hmm. so it's difficult. In fact, in uh, Ilan Lao Store, it's only about 900 million, 900,000, it's already difficult to, look, to, to, to find a person. Although there, there, were, there are mountains and, uh, you know, yeah. jungles. But here, uh, the, the jungle here is uh, more formidable because people, uh, composed of people. Bahay at mga tao, sir. It's yeah. very easy to, to hide here. Yeah. For as long as you do not um, get attention to yourself, you can hide forever here in Metro Manila. We'll be taking a short break. This is a source on CNN Philippines. When we return, how is the military protecting the West Philippine Sea? Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana will still be with us after the break. And later, the newest Barbie doll is also the oldest. Find out why on today's In Focus. Ah, nasa the source. Did you think na ko na lang sa phone ko? May abang ka kasi bago phone mo eh, di ba? Sir, we're live on Facebook um, while we're on break to make Marines. Ah, meron daw proposal in Congress to make Marines a separate service command? Yeah, there is. So, General Guerrero retiring as Chief of Sa... Sino... You want to... Uh, <laughs> Sir, hindi ko pa niya sabi sa sa sa. Ah! Okay. You're watching The Source on CNN Philippines. Our guest today, Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana. Sir, let's talk about Marawi rehabilitation yes, yeah. and what is the situation like on the ground now? Uh, Marawi is the most peaceful uh, place in Mindanao <laughs> is it? because there are no more uh, bad guys inside Marawi. The rehabilitation is uh, ongoing. Uh, what the, the army engineers and the uh, contractors are doing is to uh, 
to recover all those unexploded uh, ordinances inside uh, Marawi. Meron pa ho. Meron. Because uh, the, the Air Force said that the drop of, of the several hundreds of bombs they dropped, 70 did not explode. So the engineers are now digging them up, uh, locating where they are, and it will take time. So according to the Task Force Bangon Marawi Chairman, General uh, De Rosario, they will finish uh, clearing the area with uh, of, of all uh, unexploded uh, devices. Kasama na yun yung IEDs that were left behind by the Mautis about up to April 30. So by May, maybe they will uh, try to uh, consolidate all the uh, clearances. And then by June 1, they can start uh, clearing the area. So if there were 70, sir, that <clears throat> did not explode, ilan na ba yung na-recover? So 70, obviously, from the government yeah. <clears throat> that did not explode. Ilan na ho yung na-recover? As of last report, I think they were able to recover half of those already. Okay. Yeah, but those. there's a deadline of April 30, and you, are you hoping yeah. that they will be, they, it yeah. will be cleared by then? In, in fact, they were the ones who said that they are going to finish it uh, uh, April 30. Mahirap so, na yeah. magbigay ng deadline yeah. palagi. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sir, let's talk about the NPA. Uh, of course, the president has labeled the, C labeled rather the CPP NPA as terrorists declared, uh, I think it was November or December. Yeah. Um, Last True. year, sir, which of course you already said you fully support. Let me just go back to a, a statement you made back then. You said you, we have long maintained that the CPP NPA is a blight to the Filipino people with its members engaging in constant criminal activities and wanton acts of terror. Secretary Delfin. I stand by that, uh, by that statement. Mm -hmm. yeah, they are actually the ones who are preventing this country from progressing. You know, what they do is. Um, go there and burn the equipment of uh, contractors, <coughs> uh, burn the companies. packing houses of uh, plantation owners, uh, extort money from uh, miners. Uh, the, in, in Eastern Mindanao alone, uh, the intelligence community says that uh, they get uh, ballpark figures of 1.2 billion pesos of uh, extortions. Uh, so B? B. Wow. B. Okay. Yeah. That's why they are so strong. They can buy all the equipment. Uh, they can pay their fighters. So, I, we have always tagged them as terrorists before. Even when I was a lieutenant or captain, we called them CT or communist terrorists. Uh, uh, yeah, and they don't like that tag. Actually. The CT. Yeah. Sir, so when the president wanted to pursue peace talks, ano po yung inyong pakiramdam nun? Well, in the, the, when President Duterte uh, established, uh, started the peace talks in, peace talks in 2016, di ba? Because that was his campaign promise. So, okay lang. So, Did you think it was going to work? No. I, I, I you think. knew from uh, the beginning it was going to work. The, the, uh, the, the defense community did not think it, it would work. And also a lot of civilians did not think it would work. And, and tagging them as terrorists, the uh, secretary explained to us, what, what benefit or how much <clears throat> excuse me, easier it will be for government uh, to capture them, to arrest yeah, because them. So we, can do, we can already uh, arrest all those leaders who are roaming around. Uh, mm -hmm. Remember, the 21 of the leaders were set free during the peace talks that was established by, uh, uh, started by the president mm -hmm. in 2016. And they're still around, although they are now hiding because they know that uh, we are after them. Mm -hmm. So the tag of terrorists will help us uh, uh, give more teeth to our effort to, uh, to capture them. Is it really uh, time to say a final goodbye to possible peace talks with them, sir? Yes, yes. Because we have been talking to them for the longest time, and mm -hmm. uh, hindi naman nang progreso. Eh. Yeah. I always maintain that uh, this is the CPP and PA, when they come to the negotiating table and talk peace, they are not actually talk uh, after peace. What are they after? They are after advantages, mm -hmm. what they can get. For instance, during the, the, the peace, peace talks that was started by the president in, uh, in September of 2016, so they were able to uh, free all the 21, 21 uh, leaders. Yeah. They can go around and do Freely. their jobs again. Uh, they, can, they, went, they went to uh, Oslo or uh, Nor Norway to talk. Peace talks, to pursue peace talks, yeah. They were able, because mm -hmm. our troops were uh, prevented from operating against mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. so they were able to uh, recover a lot of the barangays that uh, we have taken from them. Nabalik sa kanila, yeah. sir. What did we get? Nothing. So you know, sabi ko, they were just trying to get to take advantage of the peace talk to gain uh, what they call uh, a space, yeah. a space to, to 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 pursue their, their aims. But, but the president, uh, you know, gives it a try, ends it, gives it another try, and ends it. Do you think this time he will not? I think it's for good. It's for good. 
-hmm. especially that uh, there are lots of surrenders because uh, the president has given them incentives to come down. And uh, as of last count, uh, there were already close to 4,000 NPAs, uh, in regulars, supporters, uh, that have surrendered. Okay. How, how big of a group are they still, sir? We what only have, have? Uh, less than 4,000 4, less than 4,000 armed. Mm -hmm. But their uh, support is so huge. Mm -hmm. yeah, so huge. 4,000 armed, including na yan, sir, dun sa nag-surrender na? Yeah, yeah okay. some of them. Yeah. So there's still 4,000 armed yeah. um, right now. Uh, ju just very quickly, sir, on Benham Rice and, well, the West, West. Philippine Sea. Sir, I, I ask you this because uh, what kind of help I is the military doing to um, border, to monitor the West Philippine Sea and uh, Philippine Rice, sir, the Philippine Rice? How do we monitor what's yes, happening there? The, yes. Yeah, the now that we have thing. the drones, uh, we have uh, we have the what, what you call the marine marine patrol, and we send our naval patrols with sensors seven now and then towards the area. Although these uh, planes, uh, every time they fly over the features of the uh, occupied by the Chinese, they are being challenged. But uh, how? Uh, well, uh, they will say you are entering a Chinese ah, okay. uh, airspace. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that's, that's normal. They just exchange words. Oh, no, we are passing by our Philipp uh, Philippine airspace. This is a supply of words, but uh, it happens every time our patrols go around. We also have uh, Coast Guard patrols going there, and the BIFAR, the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, who uh, regularly go to these areas. Which areas are both? Which Philippines and, uh, and, 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 and uh, Philippine Rice. Sorry, Philippine Rice. Sir, Philippine sir yeah, and very recently you uh, accepted those unmanned, well, let's just call them drones. It's easier for yeah, me to drones. understand yeah, those drones. ones from, yeah. from the United States, yes. sir. Um, I think there were six of those. And who bagagamitin yung unmanned, what is it? Unmanned, unmanned aerial? Uh, aerial vehicles. Vehicles. Yeah. They will be used in the south and also anywhere because they are very mobile. Naman, eh. they, yeah. can be, they can be transported easily because they are just put in the container, yeah. they are very light, this just as big. Uh, lang ho ba? No, ah. Very powerful, uh, they are uh, very silent, uh, yeah. uh, and they can stay aloft for 24 hours. I see. And, and sir, binigay po, binigay po yes, yan? Yes, it's a grant by yeah. from the United States. Yeah, Ambassador yeah. Kim was with you yeah, during the yeah. turnover. And it, well, isn't it true, sir, that also in 2017, was it July last year, yung dalawang Cessna planes also, yes. sir? Yeah. yeah. You also they received are now that. operational because when, the, when we received those planes, they didn't have any equipment. So mm -hmm. we had to uh, wait for the equipment provided by the United States as well. And okay. uh, now they are installed and they are being tested already. They are also good for uh, patrolling our domains. Right. So you, you seem to have a really good relationship um, with uh, the United States, sir, as we were talking about it during the break, for those who may not know. Uh, Secretary Delphine Lorenzana was in Washington holding yes. various posts for about 14 years. That's 2002 to 2016. 2016. So, so your relationship is, what, what about, is good, right? Yeah, it's good. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I was there, most of my job was working for our Filipino World War II veterans, right. those who serve under the U.S. Army during World War II, and we were able to get some benefits for them. So, what about the President's relationship with the United States? How would you describe that now, sir? Uh, still uh, up and on. Uh, he always say that uh, he doesn't hate the United States, he just hates some people there. <laughs> Sabi niya, hindi na ako galit sa U.S. eh. Galit na ako sa ilang mga tao doon who are trying to criticize his programs here in the Philippines. And I agree with him. Okay, you accept that, huh? Yes, yes. But what about our seeming closeness to China? What are your thoughts on that, sir? I think it's just natural for us to be dealing with our neighbors. They are very close to us. And they have been dealing with us, in fact, for maybe a million years already. Because there are, we will look, there are many Chinese here in the Philippines. Yeah. And, uh, are you comfortable with that, sir? Are you comfortable that we are, could, could we shift closer to, to China than to the U.S.? Or are you more comfortable that we are closer to the United States than China? I think uh, I, I go with the, the words of the president that uh, we want to be friends so for everybody and uh, <laughs> not the enemy of, uh, enemy of nobody. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, sir, very quickly. Um, is there a looming cabinet revamp where you, uh, it, I think this was I, said by Secretary Jairo. Okay, he I confirmed it. Not, I have not. Uh, seen that from the president's actions or words. No? Okay. I only saw that in the uh, in the newspaper as well. So mm -hmm. pareho lang tayo. But uh, you know, I've been with the president for the past 
couple of days and I haven't heard any hint of any rebound. Mm -mm. None, sir? None. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And um, he's not intimated that he's unhappy with some of the cabinet Well, he was, uh, he was unhappy with the decision of the prosecutors of yeah. uh, no, the justice, uh, justice DOJ. Uh, the DOJ prosecutors for absolving um, Kevin and Espinosa and uh, Peter, Peter Lim, Lim Peter sir, Lim. and 20 others. So, <coughs> sa galit niya siguro, sabi niya, pagka uh, wala itong dalawa, papalit si Sek Secretary Aguirre sa loob. And he repeated that yesterday during our meeting. <laughs> Kaya ko lang sabi, because people are up in arms. Uh, the, the people, the, the, the mm -hmm. Filipino people are up in arms why these two uh, drug lords are getting out yeah. uh, that, that easy. Uh, uh, and did he say anything about Janet Limnapolis or provisionally accepted in the West, uh, well, uh, no, we did witness not, protection? Uh, wala, 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 she didn't mention about that. Yeah. Opo. Um, so you didn't hear about that, um, but he, he's still very much satisfied with your work, Secretary, the President? I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> so yun lang po. But it doesn't mean that, uh, does it mean that Secretary Aguirre is on the chopping? Wala naman. Uh, Wala naman. It was uh, said Secretary Aguirre is uh, doing well. At tingin ko ha, as uh -uh. far as I'm concerned. Sa dami lang ng kanyang trabaho siguro, kaya na, hindi, hindi niya nabantayan yung prosecutors na yun. Ah, eh. uh, uh, so, okay. For, but he's trying to rectify that. Sabi niya, I am going to vacate <laughs> the, the decision and uh, hmm. form another prosecutor's office to a uh, prosecutor's He did already. Team. He formed yeah, another one, uh, sir. To, to, to re-study. Secretary, so, is it true sinuntok daw talaga ni Presidente yung masit, uh, wall, isang dingding sa galit niya? I heard about that, but hindi ko nakita. Uh, but uh, do you think it's true? Ugali yeah. niya ho ba yun? Yeah, maybe he can, he can do that because uh, mm. pagka nagagalit siya kasi just explode. Mm. Pero hindi... Hindi naman hindi, siguro puro ka ganun lang siya. Pero, uh, pero hindi tao. Hindi ano, tao. Ano hindi lang tao. palagi, paligid, oh, ganun. Oh, <laughs> sir, I have a few other questions. Um, I think, uh, uh, very quickly, sir, uh, na narito po ang unang question. Proposal sa Congress to make Marines a separate service command. Do you agree? Uh, we oppose that. Because the Marine is uh, basically a ground force. So kung gawin mo silang bars of service na ground army, dalawa ng ground force natin. So no to that. No. Okay. Sir General Guerrero is retiring as Chief of Staff on April 24. I think, sino ho ba ang pinagpipilian? Uh, there are several uh, candidates for that. Uh, one is uh, General Madrigal of uh, East Mincom, General Galvez of uh, West Mincom, Mincom. Bolo, and sa, no. uh, both. And, uh, no. They are the strongest candidates there. Who, who do you think is the stronger one among the two? Uh, all we can do, uh, Pinky, is to recommend to the president uh, five names, and mm -hmm. then he, he chooses. It, but you, you personally prefer somebody else, would you tell us? I'm not going to stay here. <laughs> You'll tell me later. Sir, so quickly, how is the DND ensuring that the AFP remains insulated from politics? Um, the, could you please respond to criticisms that the AFP is slowly being politicized due to association of some two political figures, sir? I don't think so. Uh, well, there were uh, trends. Uh, for the past several years that uh, uh, some classes from PMA adapt uh, politicians, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. And uh, we actually locked down, uh, uh, kami naman. Uh, Tama ba yun, sir? Do you agree uh, with that? Our class did not agree because we, didn't, we never uh, adopted any politicians, mm. our class of you know? But When we could have, uh, uh, kasi parang it will, ano eh, uh, in fairness to the politicians, baka naman uh, magagamit sa namin, mm -hmm. uh, so... Or yeah, vice you know, versa. Or vice versa. Yeah. You know. But, you know, uh, the, 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 the mistas of uh, the other classes, like the president uh, belongs to class 67, mm -hmm. okay naman sila, hindi di naman, di naman sila take advantage ka president. But you guys took a stand, Kay kayo, hindi po kayo na... Uh, we just uh, agreed among ourselves that we will not uh, get yeah. a politician as our honorary lad. <laughs> okay, sir, we've run out of time. You're also for federalism, di hubas I am. I am. Okay, all right. So, we'd like to thank you, sir. Pleasure to have you. I know you're so busy, and we thank you for um, guesting again here on thank CNN. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, maraming maraming salamat po Thank you. Thank you to uh, Secretary Delphine Lorenzana. You're watching The Source on CNN Philippines. Still to come, meet the oldest woman to be immortalized as a Barbie doll. That's for today's In Focus. Finish up.